The Walt Disney Company coming under fire for revelations. They've been secretly sexualizing their cartoons and other programming to push gender fluidity and other radical cultural shifts. This as Hollywood's biggest night this week turned into a vulgar and violent display. Now, all of this can have a damaging impact on young people. But one producer has some different ideas for kids' programming. Watch. New students. One of you could be the Gandhi of rodents. Ah. Pirates! Pirates! Get up! So the invisible hand really is just a bunch of people trading with each other to make things that no single person could make on their own. Ah, well put, well put. Copyright Adam Smith. <laughs> that was part of a trailer for the Tuttle Twins cartoon, a series based on the books that have sold millions of copies that aim to bring freedom and traditional values based messages to kids. Dan Harmon is the creator of the Tuttle Twins, and he joins us now. Dan, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So, Dan, all of this messaging and manipulation has a spiritual impact on kids. It has a mental health impact on kids, particularly young people. Talk to us about that and how trying to do something about that inspires your work. Yeah, it's starting to feel like this is the week that a lot of people are reminded of why they don't like Hollywood. That's right. I mean, we all, we all love Hollywood. We love the great stories that they produce. But... I think a lot of parents are kind of getting fed up with some of the messages that are coming from there. And that's a little bit of what we're trying to overcome with a show like Tuttle Twins, where we're teaching about personal responsibility, the golden rule, individual liberties, um, entrepreneurship, and different kind of core principles to um, freedom. At the end of the day, we're teaching about freedom and economics for kids. And we're trying to do it in a way that we're leaving the stuff out that parents want left to themselves. And right. we feel like that's kind of a revolution we're seeing in entertainment right now, where more and more people are trying to not just complain about what's coming from Hollywood, but say, hey, let's let's focus on what we can support that's good. The release of that internal Disney series of discussions this week outraged a lot of parents. Take a listen to some of this. All that like momentum that I felt like that sense of I don't have to be afraid to like let's have these two characters kiss let's in the background this like I was just wherever I could just basically adding queerness to like the, if you see anything queer in the show I'm proud of but like I, I just was like no one would stop me. Your reaction to that and, and forcing these controversial concepts of sexuality on on children, especially coming from Disney. Yeah, I'm, I'm a parent of small children. Um, I have a bunch of small children at home. And the more parents I talk to, the more I realize they just want these subjects to remain in the home, that that's their responsibility to teach their kids about them, not, not other people. And so there's a frustration with having it sort of thrown into the entertainment. But again, you can either focus on, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and boycott X, Y, or Z company, um, and that's one way to go about it. But I think the better way is to say, okay, what can I support that actually supports my values and things that I want to teach my kids? And that's what we're trying to create with the show is we're trying to make a show that that really focuses in on teaching values of freedom, um, values of economics. Uh, again, like I said, the golden rule. And it's really resonating. People really appreciate the fact that we're kind of treating kids as um, uh, kids – in a way that they can really learn and absorb these principles. And it's having nice dinner conversations around right. the table where they can think critically about these things. Uh, Dan, do, do you think that we are going to see some real pushback? And that means a lot more movies and programming like yours. I think so. I think there's a revolution in entertainment coming. Our distributors, Angel Studios, they did, they're known for The Chosen which is really kind of a, a pushback against what Hollywood is traditionally putting out. And I think we'll see more and more really good creators stepping up and saying, this doesn't represent me or the people I hang around. And I want to create something that supports that. And, you know, I'm just one person doing that. I want to see a whole bunch more people do it. Even the news of the Daily Wire is going to be investing over $100 million into kids' content here coming up. Like, 
we're seeing that come about. And I think very much so you'll see more and more creators and really great storytellers right. that step up and just try to change culture rather than complain about it. Dan, real quick, because I'm out of time, but where can people and how can people watch the Tuttle Twins, which looks totally awesome? TuttleTwins.tv, so T-U-T-T-L-E, twins.tv, or you can look it up on YouTube and it's available there. So it's all, it's all free. People can go and watch it. We have um, seven episodes out now and we've got um, another five coming to finish out our first season. And my kids are watching it. Daniel Harmon, thank you so much for what you're doing to let kids be kids and help families get a respite from the left's agenda. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Tom.